Yo, hey, welcome everyone. This is part two of my video series about split second, and we're gonna go over the basics today. So, when you start this game, the first thing you have to do is to play the tutorial, but you can quit out of that. And the next thing you should be doing, or the, the very first thing you should be doing, is you go into the controls. This is the control setup. So, check the joypad here. What I'm what I'm using is I'm using throttle, like I'm using the but the A button for throttle. I'm using the B button for braking. I'm also using the right trigger for power level two and the right bumper for power level one. But this is not that important that like you can change those. But what I definitely recommend is having the throttle and the brake on buttons you can really use well, like press tightly, like putting the, putting acceleration on the bumper or the trigger. I can't really recommend that, even though I know that there are people out there that use, for example, the bumpers. But you definitely want, you don't want to use the triggers. I'm using an older controller here for pc this thing works very well that's an xbox 360 controller so next thing you want to do is you go to the extras and we're gonna start the tutorial again so um let's wait and watch the dumb intro again i guess do enough out there to impress me and you'll secure your spot in the premiere episode of the new season of split second Oh yeah, baby. Billions, watching the show around billions. The not just millions, billions. This ain't like any kind of race you've been in before. <laughs> not just any type of racing, it's split seconds. That's different, right, than racing? <laughs> I mean, and it kind of is. So, let's see. This is the game. So, press button 1 to accelerate, press button 2 to brake. Well, you could also go reverse, but that doesn't do anything. It will automatically reset your car. So, you can steer, you can use the brake, and well, just as you saw, like you can drift in this game very, very easily. Um, let's drive around a bit and see what will, what happens. Like You can just hold down the throttle, hold down the A button, and just go around the course. Oh, we have a jump here. You can't control the car in midair. You just can't. As you can see, in a like in this corner, that was really wide. It almost did not work. So, what you want to do here is you want to be want to be drifting. And now the game tells you you can drift in this game. Well, how do you drift? You drift by tapping the brake. That's how it works. Right? Wrong. There are essentially three ways to drift in this game. So, let's start from scratch. If I decide to use the brake button, as the game tells me, like, I can't drift with a brake, but it kinda, it's kind of weird. Like, that's a drift, but it's slow. It's, it slows down your car. Every time you drift with a brake drift, this is a brake drift, it slows down your car. So, why would you drift with a brake? I don't know. It's just slow. Because every time you brake, you're losing speed. So, but luckily, there are more ways to drift in this game. And yes, the game only tells you that in the loading screens. Um... There are two, like there are three other ways to drift, but there are two main ways to drift essentially in this game. The brake drift that we just learned, it's not the best way to drift. You probably just saw it, what, I'm, what I did here, was you can tap drift, like full throttle drift. What you do is you just control the drift with your, with your throttle. You essentially... You let go of gas and tap gas again. As you can see, it's faster. Just turn and tap the gas and just see what the car does. Just just look what the car does. 
Um, just try to get get used to it because you will you will um, use that a lot. So again, turn, tap the drift um, like drift button. No, turn the accelerate. Like, try the acceleration button during a turn, like full turn. Tap the tap the gas and see what the car does. See how it behaves and just play around with it. Just you can play the tutorial as long as you want, and um, unless you actually try to destroy the enemies, right? So now there are two ways to drift essentially with this technique. The first the first technique is like full throttle. Full throttle means this is full throttle. You essentially you tap the you let go of the the throttle you let go of uh, the gas button the accelerate and you immediately press the button again. Like let's let's try that real quick here. You tap and let go, like you you let go of gas or at least the throttle and press it press it again immediately. This as you can see this will pushes you. Um, this pushes you like far outside the corners like it only works for like, if, the, if the corner is wide enough essentially this is what this does like again just tap the button and if you hold it down the car starts drifting there's no need to use the brake like there are corners where you have to use the brake but for 90% of this game, you don't need the brake. Like you don't need it at all. And as you can see, I, I can just I can just control the car with the with the acceleration button. This is like you will you need the the acceleration button for almost every drift in this game essentially. So I'd say just play around with it. Um, one of the other important things about this game is. You don't need to constantly steer to do a drift, right? As you can see, uh, when I'm drifting, sometimes I'm just not doing anything. Sure, when I when I if I have to turn, I will do that. But let's show you. Let's show this corner. Like I'm just essentially ah uh, this this guy went in, like it, this guy was in the way, but whatever. So you can control the car even with the even if you're not controlling the car. That's what I mean. Like you can you don't have to press left or right every time. See? Like you can just 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 try to to steer just tap left, tap right essentially and the car just moves and it just drifts. So you don't have to you don't have to push the controller like the control stick in a direction all the time you can just tap and it also works just again just play around with that as you can see like you don't have to um, you don't have to use the control stick all the time because if you do well I'm just you you don't have to have to push left or right all the time it's just not necessary you could do that, but it's just... It will just fuck you up. Just play around with it. So, the next thing I want to show you is... Besides the double tap method, essentially... Just letting go of gas, or letting go of the throttle, and just pushing it immediately. The next technique I want to show you is the pump drift. And I kind of did it already. Um, the pump drift is essentially that. It's a drift where you pump the gas. This is a pump drift. Like, as you can see, you don't, like, you can take corners not, like, way tighter, essentially. If I do, like, a full throttle drift like that, I'm drifting way, like, I'm just, just the car gets pushed to the outside. And you just slide around a lot. But if you do a pump drift, you have way more control over the car and you can take the corners way tighter. Um, there's also like a difference like the more you tap the button and the faster you tap it um, you can just you have a lot of control over your car just with the acceleration button alone you don't have to use the brake sure again you can use the brake 
And it's just, it also works, but it's slower. Um, and it, of course, it depends on which, like, it depends on the car you're using. It depends on the corner, on the track. Like, all that, all the good shit. So, as you can see, um, if you let go of the acceleration button, you regain your grip. And this is also really important. You can take corners even tighter or um, you have a lot more control over your car and regain control of your car when you let go of gas. It's way easier. Let's show you that uh, one more time. Let's, if I say I drift, like it's harder to to get straight again because the car is con it wants to drift. Like it's a, it also it's it's it keeps drifting after you're you're simply straight and depending on the car, it's a bit weird. Like, but if I let go of gas, I get control way easier and way faster. So that's the basics so far. Um, I recommend you to just as I do here, just go around the course and try to learn how the the car behaves or what the game. Like how the game behaves essentially when you just just control in the car with the acceleration button just a pump either either a pump drift where you tap the button or again a full throttle drift where you just let go of gas just hold down and just do a really long drift and again you don't have to use the control stick all the time so um now to the power place the game wants us to do power plays here um, but just use this opportunity just just this this track here is really good for just practicing drifting in general if you're new to the game so just use that but let's go and see what a power play is so there are two ways like there are two different types of power plays in this game the first one are these blue ones a blue power play can often be used um, like every lap it's like this these helicopters here they can be used like every time you go past them but there are also blue power plays that can only be used once per run so yeah like like for example like a wall that's that's that comes crashing down or like a like a rock that's falling down or like a bridge that gets destroyed or something there's certain power plays you can only use once um, per per race, and there are certain power plays that are also blue that you can use multiple times during a race. Like for example, once per lap. Um, there are also blue shortcuts, and yeah, they can be used uh, again and again every lap. But they can um, they also just like the regular power plays they take away they take away one of your power bar. As you can see, I have behind my car, there are three bars. I have two blue ones and a red one. What this means is that, that I can either use three level one power plays, either three blue power plays, or I can one I can use one level two power play. So again, the level one power plays are the blue ones, level two power plays are the red ones. So again, I can only use either three blue or one red. So let's do one blue here. A shortcut, by the way, also wastes one of these power plays. Um, how do you um, get this blue bar behind your car? Well, with essentially three things. Either you draft. Either if you if you go behind a car, you get a draft during a race. This okay does not work in the tutorial. But if you if you stay behind a car, you will get draft, and draft makes you go faster and fills up your power bar, or you drift. A drift, as you can see, it says drift here, and a drift also fills up your power bar. The third thing that fills up your bar is a jump. Let's jump here, and as you can see, it says jump, and a jump fills uh, also also fills up your power bar. So, let's do a level 1 power play here. With some enemies, as you can see. Well, there will be a short cutscene if you decide to be uh, to play a race. So, the game now wants you to 
to fill up the whole power bar. Well, let's do that real quick. And yeah, there's no draft in the tutorial, which is a shame because it exists in the race. Just trust me on that. As you can see, the jump also fills it up. But a drift is just way easier. You can also kind of drift in a straight. If, if, if the road decides to be straight, if it's a straight way, well, you can also drift and fill up the bar. And let's do one more smaller drift here to get our level 2 uh, power play ready. So, the every level 2 power play has the benefit of, like, they're way bigger, bigger, like, a level 2 power play is a way bigger explosion usually. It often also allows us to change the track. Um, it's a red symbol, as you can see. And depending on the trap, uh, sorry, depending on the on the track and the trap, uh, a level two power play does different things. Um, every level two power play can only be used once per race. I don't think there's an exception to that rule, but yeah, they're just way stronger, and of course they use your whole uh, power bar at once, just with one with one one level power one level two power play uses the whole bar. So let's take another lap around the car around, around the track here and activate that as you can see it explode I exploded the whole tank on the outside there or whatever that was so let's fill up the bar again and let's get rid of all these these dudes as you can see a drift is really like fills up the the a good drift fills up the bar really, really quick. And again, I'm not using the brake here. The game tells me to use the brake for drifting. You don't need the, the brake for drifting. Just play around with the with the with the throttle and it just works. So let's use some power plays here to get rid of some enemies. Fill up the bar with another drift. As you saw, like a, a regular level one power play only used one. Let's fill up the bar with a drift. Again, like I don't need to do that, but drifting is just fun. Let's do level two here. And that, oh, that killed me. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, this game has some wonky physics sometimes, but that, that was a perfect, <laughs> perfect ending right there. So. As you saw, there are essentially three. Uh, let's recap. There are three drift techniques in this game. There's the regular drift, where you just let go of gas and tap down the throttle immediately again. Just let go and tap it immediately and just hold it down then and just do a regular slide, essentially, really wide. Um, or you tap the drift button and it goes really tight letting go of gas is a way to regain your grip to regain control of the car or the slower version but uh, this version is sometimes necessary for for certain tracks for certain corners the brake drift so yeah again three drift techniques um 90 of the time you don't need the brake button for the corners there are certain maps or there are some maps on this uh, in this game where you don't have to re break at all there's no need to break but in general the full throttle drift letting go pressing the throttle again is the way you want to be drifting so practice that you will need that this is also the reason why cars with a higher drift stat are usually better there are exceptions to this rule but usually the higher the drift stat is the better the car is um the firestorm is still the best car for exactly that reason um if a car has a high drift stat it goes faster while drifting and you will be drifting a lot because again it fills up your power play and you can just take corners really tight tightly when you're drifting if you just hold down the gas button like if you just hold down the throttle 
just just accelerate and accelerate just try to get that corner it just won't work you have to be drifting in this game so as a like so as an like as a general rule if you wonder if you should be drifting in a corner well you should be drifting anytime you're not drifting in a corner you should be drifting instead so yeah i hope this showed you some like show you what this game is about um again this was the basics of split second we will go over like more advanced stuff maybe next time um there are certain things i have not mentioned yet and i will do that next time um especially for example like uh where we will like i want to go through all the tracks in this game and yeah this game has a lot to offer I want to also do another video about the game modes. We will all do that in some time in the future. But until then, I'd say that's it for today. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, just comment. And yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, the last fight. Take care, everyone.